Hi there, your dear friend Nicola here. This video will be about your advantages in the opponent's back. There are some situations when Adamas is showing you his back and you don't know what to do. So today we'll have a glance at everything your opponent can do back turn and in a frame disadvantage and what you can do to deal with it. Defense option 1. If the opponent holds back, he will quickly turn around to block your attacks, but actually it takes 3 frames to turn around and 3 more frames to get the ward back. And that means you have a total of 6 bonus frames to land a punish. Defense option 2. The opponent will turn around while ducking. This movement can be great for evading but surely not for blocking. They will take at least 6 frames to turn around and a crap load of time to actually block. Just a bit of patience and you'll be greatly rewarded. Now that we know this, we can deduce two more interesting informations. If you have a sufficient frame advantage, any fast mid is guaranteed against the opponent's defense options 1 and 2. And secondly, you don't need to wait for an epic mistake, because your character already has got some moves that'll give you plenty of advantage. Let's look at some examples. The Uch My Ankle Stun. The Ouch My God stun. The Ouch My Head stun. And the Ouch My Nose stun. These follow ups are guaranteed when the opponent tries to block. And I mean guaranteed only when he actually tries to block, because unfortunately, things are not that simple. Defense option 3. A parry! In this example, Raven can't do anything to block Kazuya's infinite down forward 1. That sounds broken, but it's not. Because to avoid getting crimpied for a whole round, Raven can do a back down parry. So when you expect a parry, you need a move that can't be parried. Defense option 4, the escape option. There are some characters who can escape from bad situations. Even Rotax can work in case of emergency. These situations can be tricky and unpredictable, so you'll have to choose your move wisely. And yet we'll still know a lot of situations in which you can't do anything to defend yourself back turns. Then there's no other option than pressing buttons. In this example, people just can't block, they have to pluck up the courage to eat a counter hit. Because if they don't, they'll lose the round for sure. And since you don't know if your opponent is gonna push buttons, you'll need to react properly in case of an accidental counter hit. Attack option 2. The crushing. Of course, if someone wants to send offensive back turned, he will most likely abuse of crushing moves. To prevent that, you'll need some moves with a good hitbox. Those crushers usually put them in an urban state, so that a mid pickup move will do the work. And obviously, if you expect a dig jab, just do a low crush. Attack option 3, a move with a built-in parry. In this example, Link cannot block or evade Kazuya's down forward 1 2. But this punch parry ruins everything. Its weakness is, of course, the risk of hitting a counter hit from an unparryable move. Attack option 4 a throw. Sometimes they can take advantage of your hesitation to do a throw. It may be good for not hitting counter hits, but not really worth the risk considering the mind game. And that's it! Hopefully this will help you to deal with these situations. Feel free to send me other requests and don't be afraid to bother me. I mean I do enjoy doing researches about the game. Cheers!